Solutions for an economic recovery in the U.S. are outlined in a new book called Manufacturing a Better Future for America, published by the Alliance for American Manufacturing. The book provides insight into why an economic recovery could not be sustained without a comprehensive industrial strategy that addresses the current trend in U.S. trade policies and unfair trade practices. The book is a very useful tool for policymakers because it shows how our trade policy needs to be reoriented. It shows that there are real costs to deindustrializing and putting all, all our eggs in the financial services basket or all our eggs in the knowledge economy basket, very risky. Without manufacturing, you're not going to create the wealth that you need to sustain an industrial, modern economy. You're not going to create enough wealth to, to pay for education, to pay for health care, to pay for infrastructure. Whether or not our children have a, the same opportunity and standard of living that we have really depends enormously on the future of manufacturing. Richard McCormick says that the U.S. no longer produces what it consumes and that an increase in consumer demand is not the answer. Until we realize as, in a, as, a, as a society that we have to generate wealth through the production of the goods that we consume, we will not generate the wealth that we need as a society to sustain the American enterprise as it has been created over the last 50, 60, 70 years. There's no other sector that gives you the value added. I mean, manufacturing jobs support four or five other jobs in the economy. You don't get that from a knowledge job. You don't get that from a retail job. Manufacturing supports our national security. I mean, if we don't manufacture the things that uh, we need for our nation's defense here, we're going to be in big trouble down the road. And I don't think the American people want to see that.